Let's open and look inside one of these DRAM microchips. Inside the exterior packaging, we find an interconnection matrix that connects the ball grid array at the bottom with a die which is the main part of this microchip. This 2 gigabyte DRAM die is organized into 8 bank groups composed of 4 banks each, totaling 32 banks. Within each bank is a massive array, 65,536 memory cells tall by 8,192 cells across, essentially rows and columns in a grid with tens of thousands of wires and supporting circuitry running outside each bank. Instead of looking at this die, we're going to transition to a functional diagram and then reorganize the banks and bank groups. In order to access 17 billion memory cells, we need a 31-bit address. Three bits are used to select the appropriate bank group, then two bits to select the bank. Next, 16 bits of the address are used to determine the exact row out of 65,000. Because this chip reads or writes 8 bits at a time, the 8,192 columns are grouped by 8 memory cells, all read or written at a time or by 8, and thus only 10 bits are needed for the column address. One optimization is that this 31-bit address is separated into two parts and sent using only 21 wires. First, the bank group, bank, and row address are sent, and then after that the column address.